Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create your own notification sound by using your TTS. So first of all, you need to set up your own TTS. Go to your Android settings, scroll to language and input. Here, click on that, scroll down and choose text to speech output. In my case, normally I'm using this one in my own language, but for this tutorial I'm gonna use the Google text to speech output in English. Okay, let's go back. And then as you know, you can set also a default notification sound on your Android phone. That can be found under sound. And there you will see here the default notification sound. In my case, I'm using Tetris. That's a short one. Let's go back and let's create a new event in my calendar, for example. I'm going inside my calendar here today and I'm gonna create a new appointment. For example, shopping. Okay, and let's set also the time. For example, 15 and we're gonna choose 12 for example. Click on OK and OK. And let's go back to our home screen and wait. There is a new appointment. The appointment is shopping at 15.12. As you heard, when it's 15 o'clock and 12 minutes, it will trigger that notification sound. So how can we set that up? It's quite easy. Let's open Tasker. Okay, and let's go to task. And here I created a new task called EV new appointment. Let's open that. And that's only a C command. And inside the C command, let's open that. There is only one thing. There is new appointment. The appointment is en title, the variable en title at en text. In this case, the title will contain the subject of my appointment and en text will contain the time. Okay. So as you see, it's quite easy. The only thing we need to do is creating a profile. Let's go back and inside the tab profile and you will see here EV new appointment. Let's open that and you will see here auto notification intercept event behavior is true. So how can you create that one? It's quite easy. First of all you have to install auto notification. I recommend to install the latest beta of auto notification. So when you have installed that click on plus choose events then choose plugin and then scroll down and you will see here auto notification intercept. Choose that one. I'm gonna cancel that right now. And let's open this one. And you will see here three things. Event behavior is true. Notification type is only created notifications. And notification apps is calendar. In my case, it's translated in my own language. So gonna edit that. So you will see here the action type, the action type will be created and choose also the app. In this case, I used calendar. Okay, I'm gonna cancel that. And that's the only thing you need to do. So as you see, it's quite easy. Let's accept that and let's go back. And you have to trigger also the related task to that. That's the only thing you need to do. So in that case, you can create your own notifications for Google Plus, for Hangouts, for email, etc, etc. So you can use your own TTS for that. If you want, you can do also other things as well. So I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, leave that on my Google Plus community and see you later. Bye.